Is Divi the best page builder right now? The answer to that is not really. And that's just the honest truth. If we take a look at Elemental, Bricks Builder, and so on, we notice that they have advanced technologies that allow us to build complex websites like Flexbox and CSX Grid, and also better integrations with other plugins. So what does that mean? If you're a Divi user or you want to use Divi, well, I'll recommend right now that you go ahead and still purchase Divi. Why? Because just recently, Nick actually made a video talking about one of the things that really annoyed me so much, and that is short codes. Now, when you use Divi to build a website and you decide to use another page builder, it lives behind what are known as short codes. These are codes in the square brackets, which you have to delete, and pretty much you have to redo your website from scratch with the other builder. So they're doing away with that. And in fact, let's listen to what he has to say. One of Divi 5's most significant changes, which is the removal of shortcodes and the migration towards a more modern storage format that aligns with the future of WordPress. Now, this really got me excited because now in the future, I can just decide to perhaps maybe move away from Divi and not worry about these shortcodes. So that's a fantastic move. Now, the other thing I also want to talk about regarding Divi is they are really working hard building Divi from the ground up. In fact, what's happening right now with Divi 5 is they are building it from the ground up. I mean, I have some a bit of uh, concern whether we are going to be able to convert our current DV4 websites onto DV5 with all this new code and new technology they are applying to it. Well, I don't know, maybe they have that all figured out. But anyway, my point is, DV is still a good option because they are really working behind the scenes to make it really, really modern because what really matters is works with DV in terms of plugins to make the website a specific purpose type website. For example, on my website, on Divi University, and by the way, I'll be talking about Divi University in a moment. Uh, on Divi University, if you just use Divi to build a website, you're just going to have a standard looking website, like a brochure website, okay, with no really uh, features on it. So in order for you to make it a membership website and also to do email marketing, you have to add plugins like Fluent CRM. You also have to add a wishlist member to have a membership website and so on. So the ability of Divi integrating very well with these plugins makes it really, really useful. And this is what really is not there at the moment with Divi 4. Yes, we can make it work, but it's not the best. If we compare how these other plugins are integrated with, say, Elementor, it is a full-on integration, which is really, really fun to work with. So I'm really hoping that in the future, maybe in Divi 6, all this is going to be able to work very, very seamless with these other plugins. Okay, so now let's talk about the most important thing, Divi. Right, I purchased my lifetime membership many, many years ago, and I'm still getting all these updates for free. Now, does that mean that this is going to be the future where they're going to have a lifetime membership? Well, I'm not saying this information is straight from Elegant Themes, but this is just what I think. I don't think they will be able to uh, sustain all these updates and all these technologies just for 289 for a lifetime license for a long time. I'm pretty sure at some point they're going to make it a subscription. And as for me, I don't like subscriptions, even though uh, on paper it makes sense. Let's say I have a subscription for 10 websites and I'm making all that money back from just one website. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, but just the idea of paying a subscription, I don't really like that. So if you're new to web design and you're not sure, I would highly recommend you go with Divi, get your lifetime membership. It's only 289. You're not going to lose a lot. And if you really want to get your money back, just design a few websites and get your money back that you've purchased the lifetime membership. Now, what's really cool as well is I've actually made a dedicated website called DiviUniversity.com. This is where I'm going to be adding all sorts of courses around Divi. I'll also be doing child themes. I'll also be using, you know, snippets, any anything really that works with Divi, I'll be making, and that's going to be the home of Divi. So you can see, I have faith in Divi, in Divi's future. That is why I created DiviUniversity.com. So for those of you who are lifetime members on funnels2income.com, 
you can uh, have access to DV University. In fact, I've sent you out an email to invite you absolutely for free onto dvuniversity.com just so that we can just focus on DV on dvuniversity.com. So that's where, like I said, we're going to have a lot of uh, classes. We're going to have uh, purpose-built websites, like, for example, online store websites. I'll be teaching you pretty much what I've learned over the years. And when DV5 or DV6 comes out and there's certain features that you need to know about, I'm the one who's going to be spending hours and days working out on this, trying everything out. And once I have all the solutions... I'll be coming on and creating all these videos so that you have the latest uh, technology on how to build websites using DV5 or DV6. So that's the purpose of this membership. So at the moment, I'm still uh, working behind the scenes to make sure that everything is working seamless and we don't have any problems. And then once everything is okay, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, child themes and also courses coming up. Anyway, guys, what do you think? In my opinion, DV is still worth it. The link to that is in the video description below. If you purchase DV using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to DV Jumpstart. This is a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with DV. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.